Hi, this is Kelly McMillan. I'm here at the Elsaws Ranch. Um, just completed a Nilgai hunt. I was warned before I came down here that Nilgai are extremely tough and it takes a lot of bullet, a lot of mass, and a lot of energy to put these guys down. And from my experience, I'm telling you, if you ever consider hunting Nilgai, don't be afraid to take as much gun as you feel comfortable with. Uh, personally, I chose uh, the Heritage Rifle and 375 H&H. &H. I was shooting uh, Barnes ammunition with a 300 grain TSX bullet. Um, I was fortunate enough to actually get a, a really good stable shot. Uh, bullet placement was exactly where I wanted it. Um, shot was about 85 yards after a short stock and the, the bullet performed incredibly well. I shot him right in the heart and the animal still uh, ran about 100 yards before he laid down. Um, tremendous performance on, on the bullet. The rifle performed exactly like I had hoped it had. Uh, this rifle, as I said, is a heritage. Um, it's designed specifically to be used with a scope. It's got a, a raised comb uh, and Monte Carlo so that you can get right behind the scope without having to search for it. Uh, it's got a, a drop belly magazine that holds four in the magazine and one in the chamber. Most heritages come with uh, push feed, but they are also available with control round feed and three position safety. Uh, this is a perfect rifle for a hunt like this. Uh, weighs in at about eight and a half pounds, not extremely heavy to carry. Uh, with this night force scope with the illuminated reticle, I took my animal just before sundown. Having the illuminated reticle was um, a, a tremendous help because I didn't have to look to see where the crosshair was as soon as I put it up, saw the field of view that the animal was right there, the crosshair is where I wanted, and I pulled the trigger. Um, very good scope. Uh, really appreciate Night Force for participating in this uh, project with us and providing all the scopes that we used here.